some boats are powered by air, others by gas. But have you ever seen a boat that's powered by soap? Well, Reza and Zaker K of Nashville, Tennessee, sent us the instructions so you can make one. You can experiment with this in the sink, the tub, or in a container like this. Here's what you'll need to make one. An index card and liquid soap, the kind you wash your dishes with. Cut a boat out of the index card. Cut a small slot in the rear end of your boat for the engine. This is where the fuel, the soap, will go. Now, just float it in a container of water and put a drop of soap on your finger and put it in the short slot. And be sure to use fresh water every time you do it. Anyways, the reason why the boat moves is because the water particles are attracted to each other, especially on the surface. This is called surface tension. The water is held together almost like skin. The soapy water doesn't have as much surface tension as pure water. So, as the soap spreads out, the boat gets pulled over the stronger surface tension of pure water. So if the soap is what makes the boat move, then we don't need to put the soap in the engine. Let's put the soap anywhere in the container and see what happens. Okay. Right there. I'll just put it right here. It still moves. Try floating other things, like pieces of thread and ripped pieces of paper. Then, see what happens when you add a drop of soap. Write down your results and send them to Zoom. <laughs> Got a game for the group? Got a singer? Or maybe a zoo. If you're big or you're male, send us a riddle. To the Z. To the M. Double R in the middle. Tell me, tell me what to do. Who's a wild cat? From the female. 